All right. So what we've built here is a Runeragus team. Uh, I, the viewers suggested Runeragus, so I, I am building Runeragus. Uh, and honestly, it's it's such a strange Pokemon. Thank you for the Prime Sub, Big Chief. Uh, it's such a strange Pokemon to build around because it's like untouched territory. It, it'd be so much better in a non-Dynamax format because Wandering Spirit has weird Dynamax interactions where if one of the party is not Dynamaxed, or one, if, if one of the users is Dynamaxed, it like doesn't trade. Um, so that's weird. So you can't like Dynamax self-proc if I recall. Uh, you have to do it while you're not Dynamaxed. I can test it once on stream just to make sure, but I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So yeah. So we're using Weakness Policy Runeragus, uh, enough special defense to live in Astro Barrage from Sash Calyrex Shadow, just in case we want to just guarantee Trick Room versus it. We have Trick Room, Earthquakes, uh, Rock Slide, and Poltergeist. We have a Room Service Palkia. This is a set that I've been running for quite a while. I should actually run Pressure because I have no intentions of self-targeting. Um, we have Hydro Pump, Spatial Ren, Trick Room, Earth Power. This is actually enough speed. You might be asking, Marcos, why are you running Zero Speed Palkia? with 56 speed when you could just run that many IVs. Uh, it's because I breed my Pokemon and it's very hard to get 16 IV, which is what I'm looking for, I think, here. Uh, so basically what this lets me do is I outspeed everything if I Thunder Wave it, except for, obviously, uh, Regieleki. Uh, but also, I'm underspeeding Grimmsnarl if I go for Trick Room plus Room Service, uh, and that allows me to dodge things like uh, Spirit Breaks, which can be very annoying for Palkia. Beyond that, it's just Hydro Pump, Spatial Run, Trick Room, Earth Power, uh, with about as much special attack as I could tack onto it while still living a minus one play rough. We have Zashian Crown, bulky set, always takes a uh, Precipice Blades from Groudon, uh, and I believe we take like Timid, Mystic Water, uh, Kyogre, Water Spout. Sugarberry, Incineroar, Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Fake Out, Snarl. We have our Citrus Berry, Thunderous with Prankster. Usually I would run like either Citrus Berry or, uh, or, um, safety goggles on a thunderous or even safety goggles on my incinerator however we have the azumaro here because i think that the only way you can legitimately get the most bang for your buck out of a uh, runeragus in this format is by doing like the uh azumaro huge power aqua jet cheese to trade your ability onto it uh but yeah so we're running safety goggles because that allows me to dodge sleep from or not dodge but ignore sleep moves from um Venusaur, which obviously wouldn't want to do it versus like a Zoomerol when you can one shot it, uh, but specifically like a Moongus. That could be very annoying if it rage powders, it blocks my Aqua Jet, and I also can't uh, move if I get slept. So that's very useful. Uh, Runeragus doesn't quite have to deal with that as much because it is speed tying with a Moongus unless it's like Iron Ball. We have Sing on there because I want to be uh, public enemy number one. Uh, we have Liquidation and Play Rough, uh, and we have enough defense where we can actually tank a Grassy Glide from Rillaboom in case we have to. Uh, actually eat one of those so yeah anyways let's go ahead and get into the battles i have no idea how well this is gonna go this can be the first few games i get with it on my main i haven't played in a while but we're 1494 so let's just stick with the main let's just play on main today let's let's post cringe on main let's do it okay also in chat if you're watching live go ahead and let me know what i should name the team come up with fun pun names for the team it's a jellicent okay uh, I see very little opportunity for Runeragus to do any kind of cool stuff here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, Azumarill doesn't seem bad, though. Like, safety goggles, Azumarill seems kind of cool here. Hmm. I quite like Thunderous and Palkia lead. I think Thunderous Palkia lead's pretty good. Thunderous Palkia... Uh, Incineroar in the back seems very good as well. I could also lead off with it if I'm really scared. Zacian's also very good, but Azumarill could put in the work. I think I just go Zacian here, so like no, no cool stuff today. Just like standard, standard-ish gamer options. All right. They end up going with a uh, Regilucky Veltal. I don't quite like that. Um, I have very limited, limited options versus this lead, because it's probably like physical Regilecki. Um, I think my best option here is actually pretty sad. Uh, I think I have to just double the Eveltal and hope for the best, because if we're being real, like, KOing this Regilecki is not going to be useful. I guess I could also double the Regilecki, and that wouldn't be too bad. They don't Dynamax, which is quite nice. They're going to Electroweb. 
He goes for the foul play, so he's assuming that I'm like a super offensive set, but I'm not. They also reveal Life Orb, so I probably break a Sash here, considering that they didn't reveal Life Orb. Uh, and that's quite nice. Let's go ahead and go for the Rain Dance, and let's just max guys this crowd on. Goes for the Dark Pulse to KO my Thunderous. He should be faster here, so I will get max quaked, but this is gonna... Ooh, alright, I didn't want to take that much damage. I was gonna say, this is gonna do quite a bit. Alright, nice. That should be within Behemoth Blade range, so I can get this guy in here now. Uh, and as long as he doesn't Tailwind up, I'm like, absolutely fine. Let's go for this. Um, I always take a move from you, but I don't I don't know if I actually eat one if you're Dynamax. So. Is it worth it to get my Palkia out here? I would say perhaps. I think I, I get my Incineroar in here because next turn I want to be able to fake out. And I get an Intimidate. Nice. Behemoth Blade, I don't KO, but I still actually am in a pretty good spot, depending on their spread. So I'm going to go ahead and Behemoth Blade and try to outspeed their Incineroar and fake out. Let's see how that goes. Ah, they were faster. But not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to get my... Ooh, this is kind of scary. Let's Protect. And I'm going to Parting Shot their Incineroar. Because I want to get Palkia in regardless. And it looks like Incineroar dodges, which is really nice. Let's get Palkia in. Palkia should be faster than this Incineroar. Um, but I probably don't one-shot. And I actually don't know if they attack with their Grout on here. I kind of want to double the Incin. Because I don't know if I can one-shot. <laughs> um, oh, this is so scary. This is so scary. Let's go Incineroar here and attempt to KO. Yeah, they didn't hand it over, which is what I thought. Alright, not quite a KO, but it looks like they Flare Blitz and KO themselves. I have Fake Out Pressure, which is super nice. Um, I'm pretty sure I always Fake Out the Grout on here. And... I can attempt. No, I don't fake out the Groudon. I don't. I fake out the Eveltal because Groudon's going to protect. And I spatial rend. They didn't protect the Groudon. I probably lose if they're faster. All right, Incineroar dodges because he's broken. I always have to attack here. Dang, that really sucks. I guess they're like AV then. So this is pretty safe unless they're Sucker Punch. All right. They don't KO, so I think I always win here because Flare Blitz is going to do a lot and they need Sucker Punch to win. Yeah, good game. All right, that scared me. I should have identified the AV earlier if we're being real, but that was a pretty nice first game. Name Azumarill Indiana Jones in the Temple of Ruin. <laughs> Wait, that one's really good. Oh, what the hell? Um... Unflinchable weakness. This is all right. This is a skill you guys got to learn if you're going to ever play VGC. Um, this is a team that no one would know, like, on face value what it's going to do unless you faced these individual strategies before. I would say, does Feromosa get beat up? Let me check something. I think it might. It doesn't. Does it get a dark move at all? All right. Uh, it might be doing some fling stuff, but, uh, so Feromosa probably has speed swap for something here. Um, you can't flinch a Raikou, so it's probably going to be like Raikou bulldoze into, um, Solgaleo. And it might be like Scarf Kyogre plus like speed swap Feromosa, so let's keep that in mind. Um, if that's the case, my best way of getting Trick Room off is going to be going Palkia here. And that should always secure me a trick room if I'm if I'm smart. And I may actually lead off a zoom roll because if I if this is really weird lead. Hear me out. I'm gonna do Runarigus and it's probably dumb, but but just hear me out, okay? Just just bear with me. Uh do I want you? I want I usually want to lead off Thunders here because I'm scared of Kyogre, but I don't think I'm particularly scared of it if I can get like Runarigus going. Let's go with um let's go Zashin. Alright. 
I'm hoping they go with like Raikou. They go Virizion for bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what you're gonna do. I'm very scared. I'm gonna trick room and sing because I don't know what you're gonna do. Dude, do you have beat up? I thought you didn't get it. Oh, it is fling. Okay, see, I identified that on lead. I identified it on lead. I didn't actually think it was gonna happen, but I did identify it. Now behold their demise. Oh, that sucks. All right, the bright side is they have to be very scared of me now. Uh, let's go ahead and spatial rend and play rough the Feramosa. All right, cool. I kind of hope they get rid of Palkia now. Ah, uh, big sad. Okay. I think here, um, depending on what's in the back, it really it really helps me identify what my play is, but. I can just go Zacian, really. Like, Zacian can one-shot Virizion from this range, and it's unlikely that they are actually going to underspeed me. Um, yeah. I think here, I actually just go ahead and go for, like, a Max Geyser into the Moltres. Or actually, no, there's no need. There's no need. They have to go for a flinch here, and I don't think they can get it. So let's go ahead and just Spatial Rend and Behemoth Blade the Virizion. They have to get a flinch here, and I, I, I should live one hit from Burizan regardless. Yeah. Nice. All right, and now we get into Runerigus, and Runerigus is going to do something for the rest of the game. He will actually get to do something here. Because that's the Solgaleo. And they already Dynamaxed. So. It's in my best interest to... I don't want to activate the Weakness Policy. I want to do that on the final turn. Let's max Rockfall and Protect. It's in my best interest here to ignore the Sogalia for just a minute. Alright. I think the rocks may knock him out. I get my policy, which is super nice, because now I have another turn to be annoying. Yep. Or not the rocks, but the sand. Uh, and now I can Phantasm and Sacred Sword. and I Or, not Sacred Sword. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I just have too much pressure here for them to win. Yeah, because I'm going to get a lot of damage here, and now I literally just double attack. Max Phantasm. It's a good sword. I would like to do the, like, the Rune Aragus thing at some point in this match, but or at some point in this stream, but I don't know if I'll be able to. There we go. Yeah. There was no way they could KO both of my Pokemon without like a huge crit. I already said GG. All right. Give Rune Intrepid Sword. You can't quick attack Runerigus. He's a ghost type. All right, we already faced this guy. Um, but maybe now I can get away with Runerigus. Maybe now I can. We also know the... Um, we know the set on you. All right, I have an idea. And it's really risky. But trust me, guys, it's like super duper cool, and you wouldn't understand. This is the riskiest way to do this. You wouldn't understand, though. Okay. So it is in my best interest here. Normally, <laughs> I would go for Trick Room, but I can just one-shot an Incinera right now. It should be relatively free. Because they want to fake out my Palkia to prevent Trick Room, and they want to go for like a max darkness on my Eveltal or something. The only way I see this not working is if they like Airstream. Yep, they darkness, I eat that up. Like Reese's Puffs. As long as they're not Sash and Sonora, they shouldn't take this. Nice. Behemoth Blade, your Rune Aragus? I could, that is an option I have. That is like a, a an actual option that we have on this team that I'm not going to acknowledge. All right. Luckily, we just came in, so I can actually always do this. It could also Wormwind. I think Wormwind might be better. Yeah, because we always get that Intimidate now. Not the Intimidate, but the effective Intimidate. 
Um, and now a zoom roll comes in. And I feel very comfortable doubling down onto you, sir. Oh, uh, he wanted to water absorb me so bad. As long as I connect this, we should be good. There's a lot of damage going up. Not quite a KO. Um, not quite a KO. But I should always just play rough here. Ooh, this is really scary. This is actually quite scary. Because I want a Trick Room, but I don't think I can get it off. I don't think I can get the Trick Room off. Hmm. Let's try it. He protects. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, I play rough you. And I'm actually going to get my Rune Aragus in now. Because I, I eat like everything from Jellicent. And then next turn I Aqua Jet and Poltergeist the Jellicent. And I think I win. Because I also get my Palky off the field. Oh, yo. Yo, I should be slower than you. I think I just go for the KO on Jellison because it hasn't eaten an item yet. And I haven't clicked Sing yet, which is really disappointing. Let's click the 55% chance to win button. I'm also going to take an ability here. 55% chance to win button. With the sun and the burn, I'm not going to KO with liquidation anyways, I think. Miss. That's fine. I have rock slide and lots of pressure. Um, I should be slower than this Eveltal, so we just spatial rend. And uh, I poltergeist again, because you haven't eaten your item yet. Nice. Very clean game. GG. Well played. So far, this team's actually going kind of crazy. This team actually is going kind of crazy. What do you guys think so far? All right, this is kind of cool. Uh, seems to be a standard-ish torn ogre Zacian combo. Um, this is a game where the Azumarill will go crazy with safety goggles and sing. I kind of wish I was... Uh, I, I do kind of wish I was running um, Sap Sipper now, though. But that's just the nature of the game. You end up wishing you were something else. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off Thundy this game. And... Thundee Palkia doesn't seem bad. I will go, I will go Rune Aragus in the back. I will. I will do that. Um, and I'm going to leave my Incineroar at home and actually go Zacian. Now you might be saying, Marcos boosted, why would you do that? And to which I would respond, yeah, you got a point. You got a point. Okay, um, I hate this. I don't think I trick room here. I think I just go for the KO and Thunder Wave, fully assuming he's about to like Tailwind. I think I just fully assume you Tailwind here. Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate this, in fact. He may target the Thunderous, though, assuming I'm, like, Dynamax Thundy. Um, yeah, I'll take it. That's fine. Actually, what I'm going to do here is assume that they go into, like, Kyogre. Or, like, something that, like, can eat the hit. Because I don't think they stay in on this. I'm going to Rain Dance and Max Geyser because that actually guarantees a KO on whatever comes in. He gets a crit, which kind of sucks. But if the Kyogre comes in, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I think the only thing I don't want to see is Kartana. If Kartana comes out, I will uh, exasperatedly gasp. And that's just how it's going to be. Uh, it'd be very cool if you just sent out like uh, Kyogre right now. Thank you. Let's Eerie Impulse you and go for a Max Quake onto... Actually, I think I could just Eerie Impulse you here. 
can go for a geyser onto your guy. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, let's Eerie Impulse here. Who did he Airstream? Actually, hold on. How much did the Airstream do? Thunderous? You went for the Thunderous. Can I get a Trick Room off if I do this? Oh, let's go. Trick Room activated. Very Pog. I'm about to land the nastiest thing of my life. Let's double you. I'm gonna land the nastiest thing of my life, dude. Actually, Runericus is probably just gonna win this endgame. Alright, um, no reason not to just do this now. You know what? I'm gonna throw a little bit and get my Runerigus in early. Just light throwing. Light throwing. Uh, let's go for the Rock Sled. And I'm gonna get Azumarill in here. Because I think they protect. Flinch. Please flinch. It'd be so funny. Told you it'd be funny. All right. Um, how much you want to bet it's AV Kyogre and I just won with that? Who wants to take bets? I'm going to take a bet. I think I might KO myself is the issue, so I actually really don't want to do this. Alright, uh, I think I win regardless with Thundee and Palkia, so I'll rock slide here and I'll go for Sing. Finally. Finally, optimal gameplay. Check this out. Finally, optimal gameplay has been achieved. Look at that. Wait, did I not trade my attack stat? Hold up. Yeah, I did. Well, that, that's that's a that's a nasty attack stat, dude. GG. All right, this is going well. This is going pretty well. We're gonna hit sixteen hundreds. It's gonna be it's gonna be so cool. Uh, sorry, I'm reading chat. All right. Let's see. This feels like actually a really good Runeragus game. I could... I Now, hear me out. I could just go, like, Palkia Thunderous here. Runeragus Azumarill. And yes, am I, like, super, super weak to... Di to not Dialga, to Calyrex? Yeah, but I really want to use the Runeragus to win, so I don't care. Because I think if I win this, I hit 1600s, and that's like a fine place to stop if you're using Runeragus. You're not going to get much higher. All right, there's the Charizard. Um, I'm gonna do something pretty controversial. I'm gonna go Azumarill and I'm gonna Rain Dance. All right, cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna Rain Dance again and I'm gonna KO this Charizard. Just in case they decide to go Groudon. I'm Dynamaxing Azumar. We haven't done this yet. This is untouched territory. Oh yeah, it's gamer time. Pathetic. Pathetic, actually. 
They're gonna rage powder and then find out that it doesn't work. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what do you mean you're running safety goggles a zoom rule? They're gonna be like, what do you mean? Please go, please, please go Amoongus here. I'd be so happy. Like actually go Amoongus, like, like really. Like, un like unironically. Or actually do it ironically too. You could do it ironically too, I don't care. Please ironically go Amoongus. Dude, they're not happy. All right, they ironically won Amoongus. Now I'm going to unironically. <laughs> I can tell it's going to annoy you guys. <laughs> Just me saying it like that. Okay, uh, let's T wave you. So outside of Trick Room, I'm actually always faster than your Amoongus. Don't care. Cope. <laughs> Hey, okay. Oh, we're almost 1600. Okay, that that was actually a really funny battle because I, I said the safety goggles would go crazy on the Azumarill and I feel like none of you guys believe me, but now you understand why it goes crazy, right? Because usually Amoongus would be a huge op uh, a huge a huge obstacle for Azumarill to, to like get over, right? And now it's just not. Now it's just like I can ignore you. Mike and Ike, thank you so much for the raid. Opponent's seething right now, maybe. I don't know. They're probably fine. They're probably just having a good time playing Pokemon like we all are, you know? Alright. Um, I don't mean to jinx it, but I'm pretty sure we haven't lost a game yet. I'm fairly certain we haven't lost a game yet today. I quite like Thunderous here on lead. I cannot lie, but I also like a zoom roll. The only thing I really don't want to face is the Tapu Fini because my game plan versus annoying stuff is a zoom roll to like sing and get lucky. Like, I won't even lie. That's my game plan. And if you think that's a bad game plan, you got to get over yourself, man. Pokemon's a game of luck. Skill is completely unrelated to how good you do in this game. All right. Um, you already know there's going to be someone in the comment section who thinks I'm being honest. I'm not. <laughs> You already know someone's gonna be like, Joe UX9, so Moxie Boosted said Pokemon takes no skill. Alright, um... I'm gonna bring Runaragus because it's funny. Actually, I could... I could go Zacia in this game. Let's do this. Okay, alright, okay. I like it. Um, let's go Runaragus on what I think is going to be a Dynamax Regilecki, and I think they might fake out and, like, Max Lightning me, which I'm cool with if they do that. Oh, I got the play wrong. I live, though. That's nice. Sacred Sword doesn't quite KO. Am I going to get Parting Shotted? That's fine. Because I kept both my Mons, which is very cool. Um, Palkia is a safe switch in here. Yeah, I just go Palkia, and I kind of let them take this thing. Let's attempt. Let's just attempt some damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, so depending on their speed tier, that's how we kind of figure out what happens here. Because I could Dynamax and like go Azumarill. I think my play actually is to Quake and go Azumarill for the Runarius. The only thing I have to be scared of is like a fast Palkia. But Palkia, more likely than not, yeah, it's going to be more concerned with Runarius here. And they probably thought I was going to Trick Room, which I did not. Nice. Um, a little bit concerning. The fact that I can't yet sing this uh, this guy for two more turns, but I can probably I can probably stall it out. There's the Incineroar. I think I always Worm Wind here on the Incin and play rough as well. 
Yeah, because I get the attack drop. They do go for a Trick Room, but honestly, it's not the end of the world because I can still sing in a turn or two. So I max Guard now. And because I'm zero speed, we're actually speed dying with this Calyrex. Let's go for the Play Rough on the Palkia. Get it off. Are you Policy? You're not Policy. That's good. All right. And now I'm going to go for the move that might make them want to cry. Um, and if it works, I win. Let's go ahead and Spatial Ren their Palkia and sing their dude. All right. Come on. Connect it. what I tell you guys? Pokemon doesn't require skill. Pokemon doesn't require skill. It's a myth made up by Pokemon fans. Um, I probably lose, though. <laughs> if we're being honest, I lose because I can't Poltergeist. <laughs> I can't Poltergeist them. <laughs> Alright. Um, that doesn't KO. They didn't give me my policy either. Garbage. Absolute garbage. I kind of wish I got my policy. Also, they're Wikiberry. All right, yeah. All right, GG. Congrats on hitting 1700s, though. That's pretty cool. All right, I got time for, like, one more match. Can you use throw on the next team building video? Maybe. Dog, what? 1683 at five Pokemon? He's built different. He's built different. We're about to lose. Actually, no, Azumarill could absolutely, like, ruin this guy's day. Azumarill could ruin this guy's day, like, on lead. I'm gonna go Incineroar. Azumarill. Incineroar, Azumarill seems fine as long as they don't lead off Lando. I can never tell what you're cooking up. <laughs> Hold on. I've been heating garbage up in the microwave. All right. I really like Azumar on lead here, I can't lie. That's like really, really good. Um, maybe I actually go like uh, Azumarill, Palkia, Incineroar, Runarigus. Okay, yeah, this is effectively what I wanted. Oh, I'm really scared of this play. Because I can't get Trick Room. I could get a Trick Room off here, let's be real. I could totally get a Trick Room off here. Mm. If I sing, I can get Trick Room off, because I don't think they do anything but, like... Ah, that's the rough part. Okay. You know what? You know what? Let's cook up some garbage in the microwave. This bypasses that. This bypasses... <laughs> Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, bro, no way. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna try to wake up, but if I get if 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 they don't wake up, I just I just get this. I just like take something from him if he doesn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, parting shot in the Amoongus. Get the Palky back. <laughs> I need to sing bypass the sub. Sound move. All right. Um, now I can actually do this, which is actually like super safe. Starfall, Trick Room. Here's the Grim. Alright. 
play rough. Hydro pump. I underspeed the Grim now, which is super cool. Are you policy? <laughs> Dude. GG. GG, well played. Hey, at the very least, he gets to be in the video. And we did hit 1600 by the end of the stream, so that's really cool. I'm, I'm glad we met, like, a fan of the channel, though. That's that's fun. We met a fan of the channel all the way up here. Listen, if someone watching my videos is at 1600s minimum, somehow I did something right. Somehow I did something right along along the way. All right, what do we name in this team? We're going to end the stream off by naming the team. Actually, we'll name the team, and then we'll do the team review that Orange Steve just requested, because I just noticed that's here. So I got this... I'll pop this open right here. But uh, what are we naming the team? Yeah, everyone keeps saying, like, Marcos, why are you running Sing over Yawn? Listen, mathematically speaking, Yawn always takes two turns to hit because it takes one turn to activate and then the second turn to actually put it to sleep. Sing, meanwhile, is 55% accurate. Therefore, over like a million usages, more often, you're gonna put Sing to sleep earlier. Think about it. 55%, if they were both, like if Sing was 50% accuracy, use either one in my opinion. But Sing not only is more, <laughs> Sing not only can, can put Sling to sleep turn one, but over the course of time, you're more likely to get more more sleeps with Sing than Yawn, because they can switch on your Yawn. Yeah, Yawn puts on pressure, but Sing, Sing's going to put him to sleep. Big brain thinking, big math thinking. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying right now. <laughs> All right. Um, Optimal Yawn, Rune Squad, Dead Rock, Five Head. Um, you know what? Uh, I am nah I don't know optimal yawn rune squad dead I kind of want like a like a mu a music reference I want a music reference actually you know what this is where we're gonna name it thank you dad I know how much you love Cypress Hill the rock superstar <laughs> that's this one's for my dad Starfall, Runarius, Rock Superstar. We're good. All right. 